That sucks. I even turned the lights on. You still can't see anything. I was just going to kind of show what we get with night feeding in here. Um, what's it been? At least two weeks ago, I think, she cleaned this out. I mean, it's getting... Yeah, you just can't see it. Dang it. You can walk along where they walk all the time along the edge here. Isn't too bad. But then there's a strip full length that's kind of deep. And then around the feeders is good. Well, it's a little over ankle high, but I was hoping you'd be able to ouch as I run my head into a cable. Hmm. Um, that little bit of hay right against the feeder. That's really the only hay they've pulled out. There's a little bit right against it. And, you know, I mean, that's like two weeks worth. <laughs> manure over there, there's no hay mixed in that. It's just manure. Same thing all the way around here. Just a little from where they've walked away from the feeders. A couple pieces here and there. And there's that cable I ran into. <sighs> where we're on concrete in here, we tie these in. Otherwise, they'd be all over the place. And when we get new feeders, they all go through the shop first. These stupid things are supposed to have three bolts or four bolts holding them together in each corner. One there. One right there. And I think there's two down there. That's great. Every single one they do that's bolted together breaks up. So there's a piece of one inch square tube in each corner bracing it. Kind of hard to do that down below, but you don't need to down below. Biggest thing's up above, and then it's rigid enough. And I was going to check on these feeders quite a while ago and see when we put them in. They are all marked. There's a little bit of red paint right there. Yeah, I painted that because that's where I marked them. They're marked with the date that we put them in. Um, I'm going to guess these have been in here for six or eight years, I suppose. We started with one, and literally before the end of that week, we had two and the third one. And, of course, the spin you around really gets you jiggly up because of the dark out. The one in the two-year-old lot out there where the steers are. So we got four of these. I like them. They work. Um, but anyway, we tie them all in so they don't move them. And while they're in the shop getting them welded up, all the corners are welded too. There's, they're bolted together and get them lined up and squared up with the floor. and Then uh, all the joints are welded. And a lovely thing about doing maintenance on equipment, you end up with some extra material once in a while. So underneath each corner on this is a piece of baler plunger rail. It's hard material. Generally about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half square, give or take, or rectangular. And they're, actually they're across the corner, which, excuse me, helps tie it together. Because it lays across, Let's see if I can show my hand, it lays across the corner right here. And that's just a foot to keep it up off the ground, and that's also what's wearing on the concrete. Not the bottom of the feeder, otherwise the bottom of these feeders would be gone. But anyway, then we got them tied. And cable runs up to the top of that post. That's in that corner. And the other corner, of course, the one I ran into. It runs up to that post. We used to have ropes and with chains on the end and they were a pain in the ass. Sometimes my butt didn't weigh enough to get them jerked around in place. So we went to the cables because the cable runs over here and hits another pulley and drops down to a boat winch. So when we take them out, I usually back them off 10 cranks and gets it loose enough to unhook. When we put them back in, these are heavy enough. I usually hook, hook the loader bucket on right here to drag it over in place after that other cables on that one's tighter on the post so there's no adjustment there they still move them around but they can't go anywhere with them and where they don't get moved around they don't waste anything 
And this is still a rope with a chain. I run the end of the chain through. That's the other thing I do when I build these is every one of these has a piece of round stock welded across kitty corner. So we can hook to it and it just hooks back into itself. That's how we used to do the others too. So anyway, I thought I'd show you that while I was out here. Got to feed, I think, three bales today, two in here and one for the big steers. And I was going to do it yesterday and I didn't. We got two tubs left. And these two are empty and they've been empty. And you know, most of the cows are still looking pretty good, but a couple of them are starting to slip a little. As usually by now we're not on pasture at all, but, you know, trying to be cheap this year. Not necessarily trying to be cheap, just trying to make it last, make the hay last. And if I shut the light off, we might be able to see a little bit of sunrise. And if you stare at the mineral feeder, I could show you that real quick just because. Plastic barrels. All stainless screws. All stainless bolts. And a bunch of wood. This is like the third we've had in here. This one's been in here the longest. Originally it was all wood. Then when it fell apart, redid it in all wood and then plastic lined the bottom because, you know, salt and mineral is hard on things. And it pretty much looks like they need salt and mineral. Hmm. Yeah. Number one's the one that's been feeding and should be paying attention to that. So, I guess i got to do that today too. All right. Lights out here. Spin you around in the dark and let's see what we can see. Hey, it isn't showing up too bad. A little graininess. Actually, the blue up above in the top of the screen shows way better on the camera than it does in life. But the red is showing up nicely this morning. That really is about how it is. Including the neighbor's yard light over there. Yay. So... All right, well, God, that's damn near a whole day's worth of videos, so I'll let you go. I might put this up by itself at lunch or something. We'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hey, that sunrise, it finally kind of showed up the rest of the way. It's actually pretty accurate on the camera. That that almost looks green is actually more of a pink, but missing a little bit of it. But that's actually pretty good this morning. Not too bright to wash it out. And it's, yeah, mostly blue. There's some really thin clouds up there. Oh, and yeah, that's still on because it's still that dark. Make out of it more in the camera than I can with my eyes. All right. There you go, Wade.